Hello friends, today our activity is Cholagraph and it is a printing Cholagraph. We usually use it in saris, we usually see it in saris. It is a print, means the pattern is repeated continuously, it is printed continuously. So today we are making it and we are not making it on a sari or a piece of cloth, we are making it, making it on a paper. So for that the materials are, uh, this is a mount board, I have used a mount board here and cardboard, jute string you can use or I have used wool, scissors, pencils or you can say stationery, flat brush, glue, other materials which you want to stick. So I have used straw. This green color paper is a fluorescent paper and paints. So let's begin. So first here I'm going on this cardboard piece, I'm going to make some designs or some pattern I'm gonna make a pattern so a simple pattern so I'm making a fish here so here I'm drawing another fish like this and then I'll draw some shapes like triangle and circle like then I'll make some flowers like this so here I have drawn some shapes and some kind of flowers and fishes so now I have to cut this so I'm gonna cut this Like this, I'm going to cut it. It is a bit hard to cut, but it's okay. Like this, I'm cutting these shapes, all these flowers and all. So here I have cut this shape and now I need this mount board, this mount board and now this straws and this jute string or you can say wool, we are going to need these. So I am going to glue this all pieces in a random way, in a random way I am going to glue this all pieces like this. I'm going to glue them tight, some straws, like this I'm going to glue them, this should stick tight, so while we are doing the other things, while we are painting on it, it should not come out or it should not come out like it pops out, it has not sticken well, so like this, I'm going to glue these all shapes. In a random way, like this. This actually doesn't look like flower, but it's okay. Like this, I'm gonna glue other things too. Like these straws and all. So here I have filled this whole mount board with this cardboard and the straws and the string. So I have filled this all and I have let, stripped this well and I have dried it, dried it. So I took uh, some colors on this palette and then I'm gonna put some water and I'm gonna this, I'm gonna spread this paint over this and I'm gonna use a flat brush. This makes it easy for it to spread. So after drawing this completely, I'm gonna spread this whole paint on this. I'm gonna use much paint because if it gets dry easily, then it won't be printed on the fluorescent paper. 
we are going to paint it very nicely very neatly and i have taken this strings above this because if i would have taken it below then it wouldn't have been like i wanted it would not have been printed then the strings would be of no use then so i need it to paint it up above it i need it to stick it above it so here i am doing this all very well i am doing this and i'm keeping it as much wet as i can because if it is getting dry easily and if it gets dry easily i won't be able to take the print like this i'm going to make the whole paper like this like this i'm painting the whole surface yeah so now uh, here i wanted to cover the whole surface so i have taken the cardboard remaining well while i was cutting the pieces of the fish and all that time i got some extra paper so that i took and i have made it so i have covered the whole surface with cardboard and all and now i have also covered the whole surface with paint like this i'm going to wet it again i'm going to wet it wet wash it wet wash it a bit so like this like this and now we need the fluorescent paper this fluorescent paper we are going to put it above it we are going to press it really neatly we are going to press it neatly like this and we we have to press it very neatly so that all the uh, paint which was on that side which was on the cardboard one that gets on this so now we are going to we have waited for some time and we have let it we have let the paint come on this paper and then we are going to remove this paper slowly like this so as you can see we have got the print so we can see that the print has come over this we can see the flowers and all now we have to let it dry completely so that it looks beautiful so you can see here that after getting dry how it looks how beautiful it looks and always choose a contrast or a dark color for this printing uh, up for your fluorescent paper so it looks more beautiful